All righty, I got a construction update for you guys today. So as you can see, Thunder Run's exit is coming along really nicely. It's been redirected out behind the poutinery and down into the seating area. It nearly blocks off um, the pathway that leads into the mountain staircase through that under the Thunder Run station section. So that's really interesting. You can still get by, especially if you're a person. Maybe not if you're me. I'm a little bigger size, so I might, you know, have some trouble fitting through there. But oh well. As you can see here, they are ripping up brickwork, brickwork in a path towards the third tunnel. Now, what's interesting is this comes from Thunder Run's old station and powerhouse. So it's also spray painted in orange and red, which suggests that it's going to be electrical or communications um, slash um, conduit. So and uh, as you guys see later on, so this was filmed in two days ago and then you're going to see um, a day ago's footage. Um, and then later today, you're going to have yesterday's construction update. Sorry, three days ago and two days ago footage is in today's. And then later tonight, you're going to have um, yesterday's. So <laughs> I got a lot of catching up to do. Um, over here, they are getting ready to uh, dig some footings for um, Moosehorn Falls. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, it is a really quick process. So as you see on the screen, there's already two, um, maybe three. But uh, yeah, it's a very, very, very quick process. So you're going to see them almost be done half the footings in like a, a day and a half. Um, so really interested to see where this equipment goes. Um, I don't want to reveal too much because I want the updates to reveal the information. But there's, you know, there's a decent amount of things going on. And yesterday there was something going on in a very important plot of land. Um, so I'm really excited for tomorrow's update, which will reveal what was going on yesterday. Um, here you can see lots of shipments coming in from Whitewater West. Uh, they started pre-building sections in the parking lot. So the conveyor belt, which will take the water slide pieces up, was pre-constructed. And here we go. The contradiction I told you guys all about. the They wouldn't do the roof until they do the footings. Well, yeah, I ate my own words. So here they are doing the roof. So they're getting the rebar ready. And um, they're going to start laying down rebar down sideways, horizontally across this roof. Um, and creating that slab with rebar. And then they're going to pour concrete um, to have the roof done. So they are 100% in a rush. And you can see somewhat of a new design in tomorrow's update of the pathway that's going to go over this tunnel. So there's a little bit of an interest there. Um, Backlot Cafe, nothing changing. Just a lot of work going on in there. So when I fly, there's usually like 10 cars parked outside this thing. So very interested to see the final piece. So as you guys heard, Amusement Insiders broke that this is going to be transformed into almost like a lazy bear lodge setup on the inside where you grab your entree and all that. Um, that's what I've been told. And uh, yeah, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing. Oh, yes. Here we go. The end of the day, the next day. So now we're on to a new day. Um, I keep forgetting I'm three days behind. So as you can see, this is electrical conduit that's laid down. Um, to put it into perspective, um, water pipes would need to be about four to six feet below ground, below the permafrost. Um, so that's how we're kind of aware, mostly aware. Again, I want to use the keywords. We're pretty sure that's electrical, especially with the colored markings, because it would have been marked blue if it was water. Um, that that is electrical and not water. So electrical doesn't need to be four or six feet below ground, but um, water does. Uh, a lot of equipment has started to arrive in Elpin. So um, that's for digging out kind of trenches, that piece of thing over there. It was not used on this, by the way. They used that orange little digger there. Um, so uh, yeah, that's about it for Elpin. There are two symbols um, down there that are of interest. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. Outside of Elpin, over at Extreme Skyflyer, you can see that the land hasn't been touched ever since PDI Presley left. I'm promising you things will change. Um, so nothing to record in this update, but I'm sure my one of my other updates will have something. Um, so as you can see, they moved real quickly with laying down this conduit. Um, so yes, it's heading towards entrance to the tunnel number three slash the poutinery. The poutinery is already hooked up to electrical. Nothing's been changed in that area in terms of electrical, but um, that would suggest otherwise. But yeah, so we're going to have to see where that goes afterwards or if it goes anywhere. They might just hook it up to another power line down there. 
Um, but yeah, it's really interesting. Elpen has a lot of work going on in it, so it makes you really curious about what their plans are for the Elpen area. Um, and yeah, so over at tunnel number one, again, I do want to stress that the thickness of the walls um, is important. And the amount of reinforcing that they had to do to this tunnel is significant. Even when you compare it to tunnel number two, which is the new maintenance tunnel, there's a big significance. And you don't want to ignore those steel piles and framing that prevents crumble from falling in on the road. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this tunnel. Unfortunately, they did not do it the um, the logical way or the the normal way of doing the footings and track first, like you saw on something like Yukon Strikers Tunnel. Although Yukon Strikers Tunnel was in the middle of a ride and in the middle of a pond, so it's a different scenario. Over here, they're building some sort of new building or foundation over in Splashworks. But yeah, that's definitely for Mooseward, and that's all. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.